Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Jacqueline Schultz and I'm back with another review. Now, stuff is looking a little bit different than usual. Usually I'm sitting in a chair in front of my desk talking to you, but if you've been watching my reviews, you would know I am constantly struggling because I don't have a surface in front of me when I'm trying out a lot of the products. So I wanted to try this setup today where I push my desk forward and I'm sitting behind it. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I don't know if this is a good idea, but then I also brought my smaller camera up here with me so I could get closer shots. Let me know what you think. If you like it, tell me in the comments and we can keep doing this or figure something out. Maybe I could put like a chair behind here so I can actually sit. If you don't like it, we will go back to the other way. <laughs> Okay, so I am super excited because I have a new product that I've been wanting to try out and test for you. I, well actually for me, I've been seeing it everywhere and I am so into this. I am really, really hoping it works. The product that I am gonna be testing for you today is called Bondic. Basically what this is is liquid plastic and just like the name it is supposed to bond things together it is a little bit different than glue because most normal glues are adhesives and they use air to dry air and time you put it on you wait and then eventually they dry and then stuff sticks together this is very different this is a liquid plastic when you apply it on something it does not dry until you hit it with a uv light Basically, what that allows it to do is stay malleable. Is that the word? Malleable? <laughs> it allows it to kind of shape into whatever shape you need it to be, and then it doesn't stick and harden until you want it to with that UV light, and it's only supposed to take four seconds for it to dry completely and harden. The other cool thing about this is it's not just supposed to be an adhesive where it repairs things and sticks things together, but because it is a plastic, you can actually build stuff with it. For example, if a little button broke off a remote or something, you can literally make a little button yourself that is circular and then once you get the shape you want, you can hit it with the UV light and it'll dry in that shape and then you have a plastic button or whatever. It says you can also repair a hose. If there's a hole in your hose, you can put that over it, hit it with the UV light. When it dries, no water will get through. Same with a pipe. Apparently, you can even fix your nails because after you put it on, after it dries, you can sand it down, you can paint over it, whatever you want to do. It's basically magic. Now, I am not a fan of Gorilla Glue or Super Glue. That stuff sucks because it takes a while to dry and then while you're holding it on, it often gets stuck to your fingers and all that stuff. So if this works, this would be awesome. So I think we should just go for it and give it a try. Okay, let's open this up and see what comes inside. It has instructions. You know, I'm not a fan of instructions, but they look simple enough and self-explanatory. Maybe I'll read these. Oh, it's not as simple as I thought. Look how big these directions are. <laughs> oh no, maybe it is. It's just in like a whole bunch of different languages. Yeah, I'm not gonna read everything, but basically it says you remove the cap, you squeeze the tube to apply, and you shine the UV light to cure. Got it. We need directions on how to refold the directions. All right, this is the actual Bondic pen. This is the cap right here that you could kind of just take off there. There's a precision tip. I can already see some of the plastic coming out because I squeezed it a little bit. I think you can also take off, yes, if you want to, you can take this off and do it completely separately or you could keep it on the back. How do you press this? Oh, there. That's it, it's easy. There's just a little button on the back, kind of like one of those little flashlights for your keychain. You press it and it shines a UV light. So one of the things that I saw in the commercial was they were actually building up a piece of plastic and you can watch it harden as you build it up to show that it could be 3D and you can make stuff with it. So let's try that. Yes. Mm 
Yeah, look at that. Do you see it? Oh my gosh, I made like a little 3D glue plastic thing. I made like a little unicorn horn. Okay, so now there are a few things that I want to try to fix. The first one being this little porcelain bunny thing. We got this for our wedding, my husband and I, because we got a ton of bunny tchotchkes or tchotchkes, which is Yiddish for stuff, knickknacks. I don't know. Anyways, we got a lot of bunny stuff because he used to call me bunny and that used to be my nickname. He doesn't anymore, which is kind of sad, but he called me bunny. And so we have this bunny from my wedding. It broke a while ago. I haven't fixed it obviously, and I didn't want to throw it away. So I feel like this is the perfect time to try to fix it and see if it actually works. So basically, I don't have to rush because apparently it won't dry until I hit it with the light. I just have to line it up, guys. Line it up. Oh no, guys. I don't know which way it goes. There. 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 I did it. See? Good thing it doesn't dry right away. Otherwise, I would have already been screwed. Okay, this part should be dry. Ah! Let's go to the other parts. Hit it with the light. Hit it with the light, hit it with the light. Yeah, yeah, it's dry. Now here's the true test. I am going to pick it up by the ear and I am going to see if it falls off. I'm hoping it does not because if it falls, it'll probably shatter even more and break into a bunch of pieces. So <laughs> here's the test. Ready, set, go. Ta-da! That is strong and it took literally like four seconds. Well, it took me a lot longer to figure out where to place the ear, but once I got it set, then it took like four seconds for me to actually hit it with the UV light and it to dry and work. These are my glasses. They are fake Ray-Bans. I actually got them from my job. My old teaching job gave them to us and they're pretty cool. I still like them. I would like to keep them, at least fix them so I can give them to someone else to wear. Otherwise they're trash. So let's give this a try. I will squeeze this on. I will put this here and I will hit it with the light. Oh, whoa. It did it right away. <laughs> Like I felt it just lock on within seconds, within like two seconds. It really isn't that straight, but that's okay. It's better than being broken and that's kind of on me rather than it being on the glue. Gonna pick it up. Here's a test. Ta-da! It's stuck. And then if I wanna make it seamless, I can literally build out these glasses. Now I'm just doing arts and crafts, guys. That is kind of genius. Do you see that? See, it's not even like fully attached because I did not put it on well, but I was able to build out the glasses so that it's plastic all the way through and it'll stay together. It's like locked together. And if I want to, I can even apparently sand it down and make it so you can't even tell, but I don't mind this. If I put these on, Nobody would be able to tell that it was broken because they're behind my ear. Maybe I would do it if it were like right in the middle, I would sand it down, but otherwise they're perfect. Glasses fixed, 10 seconds. Here are my thoughts on Bondic. It works, it's a winner, at least with everything that I tried it on. I like that it's not actually glue, it's plastic. I like that it doesn't dry until you want it to dry by shining a UV light on it. I like that once it is dry, it is really strong. I also love that it dries within like four seconds really, really quickly. And another really cool feature is you could build it up and make things or even sand it down. It's pretty much just awesome and a cool little tool to have around in case you need it. Now, it's not something that I foresee myself using on a daily basis, but neither is Gorilla Glue or Super Glue. And I have those things lying around just in case I need it. So I feel like this is even a better option. Now, the only downfall is it's not great for larger jobs. Not a lot comes out of the tip. Plus 
plus it's pretty expensive if you want to buy refills there's not a whole bunch of it in there i mean there's more than enough if you want to do small little jobs here and there but if you need a bigger job this probably isn't the product for you but if you're going for things that you would use super glue on or gorilla glue the, those are the only two other options i could think of that are kind of equivalent then i feel like this is a good alternative so for that reason I am going to be putting this in my Amazon shop. I will include the link to this in my description for all of you guys to go check out. I'm also going to include the link to my whole Amazon shop so that you can see all the products that I love and I use on a day-to-day -day basis. If you enjoyed this video and you just enjoy reviews and you like finding new products and you will probably enjoy my channel. So don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button. You could turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. Oh, and you can also like this video. Thank you. I think that's pretty much it. I am done. I am tired. My legs are burning. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for the next review. Bye.